All right, man, peace. So, brothers, this is going to be the first installment of a new series that I'm starting called Cover All Your Bases. And it will be featuring Mr. Draymond Green, the star power forward of the current NBA world champion Golden State Warriors and the owner of the Golden State Warriors, Mr. Joe Lacob. And the reason why I'm starting this series is because, brothers, it's always very important to cover all your bases. I was going to call this series Cover Your Own Ass, but I said, you know what? Let me water it down a little bit and also make the same point. Right now, that's the conundrum that Joe Lacob is in when it comes to Draymond Green. He knows that he has to keep Draymond Green in the loop. Why is that? Because if it comes down to Draymond versus Kevin Durant, it's going to be Kevin Durant all day, every day. But what if KD jets and leaves for the Knicks or for the Brooklyn Nets or for the LA Clippers? Now he's left with a disenchanted Draymond Green who, who knows, might be so upset that he'll demand a trade if they alienate Draymond too early. So he has to make sure that he keeps Draymond Green in the loop. On Draymond Green's end, because Draymond, even though I give him a hard time, he does operate with a certain level of three-dimensional thought, he has decided that he's going to sign with LeBron James's agent, Rich Paul. So Draymond already knows what his predicament is when it comes to his upcoming situation with the Golden State Warriors or his potential upcoming situation. He knows that he's, what, 30 years old, 29 years old? If he's not 30 years old, he's about to be. So he has to make sure that he secures the bag. Many people are not talking about this potential situation with Draymond and the Golden State Warriors because everything is about KD and Kyrie and Kawhi, etc. All the K's. Everybody's talking about all the K's, but nobody's talking about Draymond. And I can definitely see if the Golden State Warriors are able to re-sign Kevin Durant, that they may either pursue trading Draymond or Draymond himself might demand a trade. Because I think that a lot of the vitriol that has filled the Golden State Warriors locker room is going to come out after this season, especially if they hope to re-sign Kevin Durant. I think that Kevin Durant and some other players on the squad have held a lot inside for the sake of winning a third straight championship. But once that deed is accomplished, certain people are going to let everyone know how they've always felt the whole time. So what is Joe Lacob going to do? What is Draymond Green going to do? I'll tell you what they're going to do. They're both going to make sure that they cover all their bases. And the Life Brothers always make sure that you cover all your bases to the best of your ability. So they're going to talk about it. I'm going to chime in. All right. So since you've been gone, we have invented a new game here on The Jump called okay. BS or Real Talk. We're going to give you a quote and you're going to use the signs to tell us what you believe. So first up. This is Draymond Green. He's averaging more points, rebounds, and assists per games in the playoffs than he did in the regular season. And let me say this about Draymond. He came into this season knowing that in order to give himself the chance to become a Supermax player, he had to win the NBA Player of the Year award. Well, he came in out of shape. So how serious was he about becoming a Supermax player? Maybe deep down in the recesses of his mind, subconsciously, he said to himself, I don't deserve to be a Supermax player. Or maybe he said to himself, I don't want to create this situation where the Warriors feel compelled to get rid of me because I've been so successful on the defensive end that they know that the only way to satiate me is to make me a supermax player when I know in my spirit that I'm not. Sometimes people will do subconscious things to hamstring themselves so that they can stay in the situation that they're in because they know deep down that it's what's best for them overall. And when asked about Draymond's struggles earlier in the season, Warriors owner Joe Lacob told The Athletic the following, quote, He's Draymond Green. I wasn't worried. I want Draymond Green to be here forever. He's as warrior as they come. Brothers, that's the equivalent of the chick that has the great dude, but knows that he's not her type, but she wants to keep him in the loop. That's all this is. Um, all right. So Jay, Jay, Joe Lacob wants Draymond to be a warrior forever, which is a hefty price tag. Is this BS or real talk? Oh, starting with me? This is some real talk. Oh, all three of you guys. Come on. Real talk. Oh. oh. I think it's real talk <laughs> because if you see what Draymond Green has done, he has been the most productive player in this playoff series verse. Our right, but is that the reason why Joe Laker would say that? I think, or one would think, that if he would have put forth that sentiment, that's how he's always thought about Draymond. Why should he say something like that just because of Draymond's playoff performance? What Joe is really doing is just trying to keep Draymond in the loop. He's trying to make him feel loved. Or Houston Rockets. And that surprised a lot of people. I mean, he upped his average from eight points per game. <laughs> they put a book bag on Draymond back. Points per game to about 14 in this series. He's making all the plays. He's been the most impressive player on the floor playing so hard. So I think it's like, hey, when, when the... Stop, stop yeah. with the backpack, people. <laughs> I know. Come on, this poor yeah, man. But, yeah, <laughs> okay, it's really funny. Pay top dollar to pay him. Yes. Well, but the question...
question was, do you believe him saying that? The believe. question of him doing it, maybe it switches around. So. Uh Excellent observation, Jackie McMullen. I hope that you brothers heard what she stated. She said that he meant what he said, but when it comes time to do it, he might not do it. In other words, if his preference comes along, if Joe Lacob reaches an impasse where he's forced to choose between Draymond and KD, he's going to choose KD. He means what he says at the moment. Brothers in life, you're going to come to understand that people say things at the moment that they mean at that moment. Okay? Everything in life for most people, for the vast majority of people, is momentary because their level of loyalty is not going to be maybe your level of quote unquote loyalty. When you say certain things, you might mean it for life. When other people say certain things, they might just mean it for that moment because they're capricious. Oh! Semantics, my friend. Oh, okay. Oh. So, oh, Jackie, Jackie, back with All right, so look, here are the contract options. Now, he would only qualify for the Supermax if he got a Defensive Player of the Year nod, which we do not think he's going to get. Um, but those are other big numbers mm, up on that board, numbers. right? And they will have to make some decisions. Uh, luxury tax decisions, which we were talking about, if they keep everyone at the highest amount of salary, they... Well, you can scrap that 2020 Supermax because he's not going to be the defensive player of the year. The defensive player of the year this year is either going to be Paul George, Giannis, or Kawhi Leonard. So Draymond can forget that. And if he was truly as concerned with that as he alleged at the beginning of this season, he would have came in in the best shape of his life. They could pay them. Not only are they not going to have quite the money for role players, the luxury tax bill could be higher than the payroll. So here, and you have to kind of wonder, yes, they print money. The Chase Center is an ATM, that new building. Right. But do they want to pay that? Okay, but so let's just follow this. Let's okay. follow it. So you say that. Of course you got to say that. And okay. you do because you don't know about Kevin Durant. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You still don't know. Right. So if Kevin Durant vacates his money, you're going to slip down. A little bit more flexibility. Yeah. Do you pay Draymond the top dollars? You can't pay Draymond the max because he's not a max player. You just can't. Now, what he brings to that team might be max player quality when it comes to playoff time. But if Draymond is consistent with his overall player archetype and his mental makeup, he's not going to demand the max. Because if he's as concerned with maintaining the, the Warriors mystique and the Warriors winning ways over the next four or five years for the remainder of his career... He's going to take a little haircut on how much money he's going to make with that squad. Because on top of all that, you know that Joe Lacob is going to hook you up. He's going to hook you up with certain movers and shakers in Silicon Valley that will allow you to make that money up anyway. It's a fair question. Maybe. Right? He's a glue player. Draymond has said many times, he quotes, I forget which elder he's quoting. You can tell me that there's 82, player, 82 game players and 16 game players. Do we know who he's quoting when he says that? I know that he didn't. I, anyway, he is obviously a 16 game player. He is. So, and those 16 wins, the Warriors have racked up. Well, that's, they've got six already. That's all that matters. Well, Draymond is certainly a 16-game player, meaning a prime playoff performer. There's no doubt about that. But at the end of the day, there is going to be some contention after this season. And it's going to reflect back to that moment in that L.A. Clippers game during the regular season where Draymond decided that he was going to verbally attack KD and call him out of his name. So once again, brothers, always we all have to always remember that whatever type of negative energy that we put out, there is the potential for it to come back and bite us on the back end. So anyway, peace.